A great danger threatens the kingdom. The dragon has nested in our lands. Such effrontery has not gone unnoticed by the king. An urgent royal proclamation has been issued. The hero who kills the dragon and brings back its bloody tooth as proof shall receive the princess as his wife and half the kingdom. Many brave knights have fallen trying to defeat the creature, but the dragon remains invincible. Thus was the state of affairs when a brave young man appeared before me. Um, is this the place that needs a hero? Um, yes, actually, but... Great! When can I start? Right now, I suppose. Then onwards! Glory awaits the hero ahead! Goodbye, brave knight, and good luck. Goodbye! I think I know what the dragon's having for dinner. The tooth was brought to the king as proof of the dragon's death. All the kingdom was happy, and the king, as promised, proclaimed that our hero and the beautiful Catherine would wed. On the glorious wedding day, the happy husband and wife approached each other, anticipating their very first kiss. But the awful dragon was not defeated. When he woke up and felt the pain of the missing tooth, he fell into a rage and rushed towards the king's castle. Diving into the middle of the wedding ceremony, he turned bliss into panic and chaos. The base dragon took poor Catherine to the north, to his own castle. People raged when they found that the newly born hero had fooled them. But our hero retreated from the crowd, not from his love. He ran north, now firmly dedicated to saving the princess. And so, our hero finds himself gazing at a dark kingdom and the terrifying road which leads to the beastly dragon's legendary castle. Soon as the teleport came to life, the fool stepped into it. What strange fate lies ahead for our hero? He flew blind through the passage for some time, and then a light glittered ahead. Hortons teleport through our wannabe night out onto a small meadow, ahead of which he saw a strange steel construction. This was the only path to the north, the only path to the princess. He began to walk. and brilliant effort, the airship was repaired, and now our hero could fly toward his goal. The world was now clear, and ahead, faint among the clouds, the silhouette of the contemptible dragon's dungeon was starting to take shape. The castle was almost within reach, when suddenly, a strong updraft snatched the airship. The 
winds dragged the fool up into the port of a kingdom in the clouds. Now our hero must find his way down to the detestable dragon's lair. In his mind's eye, the fool relived all the incredible dangers that he overcame during his path to the princess. And here she was, right before him. The cage door creaked, and Catherine was freed. Our hero and the princess froze for a second, stretching their hands one to the other. One melting look, and then suddenly, Catherine seized the fool by his ear and started scolding him for his trick with the tooth and for everything she had suffered because of it. She was so angry that she decided to walk home by herself, leaving the fool staring after her. But true love always wins out, at least in fairy tales. Side by side, they joyfully walked and laughed together, and they lived happily ever after. Probably.